Let us talk about cell division. In each eukaryote cell, it has a repeating set of events that make up the life of every cell. It is called cell cycle. In cell cycle, which is divided into two types, that is mitosis and another one is cytokinesis. Mitosis occurs when the nucleus of the cell divides into two identical nuclei with the same type of chromosomes. You can see it over here how the mitosis is occur which is represented over here. The cytoplasms for both plant and animals the cell divides thus create two daughter cells that are identical. Here you can see the cytoplasm this is the mother cell and this is the daughter cell. Let us see about lateral meristems. Lateral meristems as a secondary growth increases the growth of the plant's root or stem rather than its length. In woody plants, this process produces wood and shapes the plant into a tree with a thickened trunk. You can see it over here. Here is the plant. The thickened trunk of tree is here. From the plant, the tree is produced. It is a secondary growth, which is depicted over here. Here, okay, the meristem in apical bud, the apical meristems in roots here. Let us see about meristematic tissues. It produces a new cells in plant, and thus cells are rapidly divided itself. And the divided cells are some of meristematic and some others differentiate from the meristematic tissues. So these are the characteristics of meristematic tissues. Here you can see the apical and lateral. Apical meristem it produces a cell that are linked to roots and stems. The primary growth increases the stems and root length, the secondary growth increases the root width. The vascular champion, it is a thin cylinder of meristematic tissue that can run the entire length of roots and stem. You can see it over here. The vascular champion. The core champion, it produces cell that develop tough cell walls that create a protective outside layer on stems and roots. It's known as calf tissue. Now we are going to see about simple tissues. It consisting of one cell type. The so one cell type is divided into three types. That is parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. You can see here the parenchyma it, it consists of thin primary cell wall. Here the colon hyma and scleren hyma is here. Let us talk about parenchyma. Parenchyma it has a thin wall and the alive at maturity. It is often multifaced. You can see the parenchyma over here. It has a primary cell wall which is thin. And here this space is called vacuum. It has mitochondrium and chloroplast, middle lamella, below middle lamella it has a cell wall and cell membrane. This is a nucleus, the cytosol which is represented in yellow color. This is the cytosol and this is called Golgi apparatus. And this white portion is called endoplasmic reticulum and this dotted portion is called ribosomes. Let us see about colon hyma. Colon hyma has a thick wall and alive at maturity. You can see colon hyma here. It has end wall. This is thick wall. The vacuole, cytoplasm and the nucleus is represented over here. The position in the stem of colon hyma is here. This is the position of colon hyma in the stem. 
Here, the historical types of Hollenheimer's depictor, you can see it over here. Now let's see about Sklerenheimer. Sklerenheimer also a thick walled but dead at maturity. You can see the Sklerenheimer depictor. It has a lignified thick wall which is represented over here. This is called lumen. Now we are going to discuss about epiderms. Epiderms, they are alive at maturity. This is epiderms which is represented over here. The upper portion, this portion is called epiderms and this portion is called dermis. The below portion it is called fatty tissues and the here and this is called nerve and this portion is called follicle it is oil gland it is called sweet gland the epidermis is represented over here clearly let us discuss about complex tissue complex tissue is divided into four types that is xylem periderm phloem and secretory structures you can see the xylem, it has a xylem tubes, xylem tubes covered by phloem tubes. You can see it over here. It is the root, it is root here. In phloem, here is the phloem tubes, xylem tubes. It is also has the both of terms. In secretory structure, it has a basement membrane. This is called duct. This is secretory cell, the outer surface is secretory cells. This is called acinus. Here again to the periderm. Inside of the periderm, the casparan strips, you can see the casparan strip over here. This is used to movement of water through the endomus to the center of the root. This is end endoderms. And this portion is called cortex. Let us see about xylem and phloem. This is the vertical section throughout the root. It has contained phloem and xylem. Here you can see how the water and sewer molecule getting to be transferred into the root. You can see over here. And now, this is the vertical section through root in high power. You can see this is xylem, champium, phloem, endomus, and cortex. And this part is nothing but the companion cells. And this is Casparian strip. You can see here where the water molecules spread over the root. You can see clearly over here. And this red dots with nothing but sugar is transferred in the part of companion cell. You can see here. This is how the water and sugar is traveled through the root. And now, let us see about the vertical section through the stem. You can see the parts of the stem over here, the xylem and phloem. It is represented over here. Here also you can see the water and sugar molecule transpiration. And this is the vertical section through stem in high power. It contains xylem, champium, phloem and fibers cortex and this part is already known that is a companion cell and this part the sugar is transferred this is the nothing but a vertical section through leaf mid drip here the cuticle is presented and this is epidermis this is nothing but the stroma here the xylem and phloem is presented over here In stroma, the water molecule is getting released. 
from the leaf midrib you can see how the water and sugar molecule is getting transferred through the vertical section through leaf midrib and let's see about vertical section through leaf cells it contains xylem and phloem you can see this is phloem and this is xylem in phloem the sugar molecule is transferred in xylem the water molecule is transferred here also the sugar and water molecule is transferred you can see clearly over here this is the experiment it has been done by GTEC laboratory in GTEC team. Now we are going to see about xylem. Xylem are water conducting tissues. It consists of parenchyma, fibers, vessels, tracheids, and braces. You can see the xylem over here. It is xylem wall. This is called adenosines. And in between adenosines, this portion is called cohesine. This is xylem cell and this is water molecule. You can see it over here. And this part look like a vessel. So it is called vessel element. And it consists of parenchyma and ray cells. Or this dotted portion is called pitch. You can see the xylem over here. Let us talk about phloem. Phloem is a food conducting tissue. It has sealed tubes, members, companion cells, fibers, parenchyma, and braces. You can see the phloem. It conducts waters and sugars from leaves to other parts. You can see it over here. And sieve elements, companion cells, are paired. But parenchyma and fibers are non conductive. It is represented over here. Here is a sieve plate. This is called sieve tube members. And here the nucleus is presented. Now we are going to see about periderm that is cork and parenchyma. Periderm is nothing but it is a protective covering which is composed of cork and parenchyma. Here you can see the periderm. This portion is called periderm and cork is this portion here 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 this portion is cork which is called periderm let us talk about secretory structures secretory structures is a nata from nectarines oils that is peanuts orange citrus which accumulation of glands and alveoplasts. The resins from resin canals. You can see the resin canals over here. This is a resin canals. Lacticifers. That is rubber plants. Obium poppy. You can see it over here. This is. These are all things of secretory structures. Thank you for watching from GTEC.